I'm Diane Sayre. I'm a member of the LaRouche National Slate. I'm here in Clifton, New Jersey, where Congressman Bill Pascrell just held a town hall meeting. And as LaRouche has been making the point, what we witnessed here tonight was the spectacular stupidity, and I would say stupidity even more than cowardice, not only of the congressman, but of the population. I asked a three-part question, one uh, about Glass-Steagall and if he would sign on to H.R. 1489, two about the fact that Congress had voted not to go into recess and perhaps should consider coming back given the emergency, the, the meltdown of the euro and the fact that Obama clearly wanted them out of town so that he could launch an invasion of Syria, and three, uh, whether Pascrell would support as the representative of the North Carolina Machinist Union is calling for the Democratic Party actually nominating another Democrat, a person who is actually qualified to lead the nation, which President Obama is not. And of course, Pascrell said on, he answered the last question first, absolutely not, it's too late, we're not, we're going with Obama, you may not like it, something like that. They, that may have been cowardice. Then, he went on to say that he thought Obama's policy towards Syria has been perfect. He used the word perfect. And on the Glass-Steagall question, he said that uh, it wouldn't have helped. He used the exact same argument as Barney Frank. He said he's 90 percent opposed, but 10 percent might consider it, and we really needed something much more. Now, your first question. Well, uh, the legislation you're talking about, it's very progressive legislation, but it has nothing to do with the recession we have. And I'll tell you why, I'm very brief. Number one, the banks, the biggest banks, didn't have to have a wall, a fire wall, between their commercial enterprises and their personal enterprises, because none of them would have been affected by Glassdoor. Now, this is like saying that if you have a person who's been struck by a car lying in the road, you don't want the ambulance to come because you'd rather have a carriage drawn by six unicorns. Well, guess what? There is no such thing. It's sophistry. So rather than have the ambulance come and save the life of the person, i.e. pass Glass-Steagall, stop the hemorrhaging, and create a basis for a recovery, we're going to talk about some mythical something or other that doesn't exist which no one has any intention of addressing. It's sophistry. But worse than that is when I was speaking about Obama's flagrant violations of the U.S. Constitution and got to the part about his health care bill cutting 500 to $750 billion out of Medicare, which is simply a fact, a whole bunch of people in the audience started yelling. Now, it, this makes very clear that support for Obama, you might as well just say, please kill me. That's what people are doing. They didn't want to hear the facts. Now, I'm happy to say that from the response I got from people I spoke with after the meeting, it turns out that the stupid people are just the loudest people, but they are not the majority. And I met many people who were very pleased that I had the courage to stand up and hold my ground. So I would ask all those of you watching this, we cannot allow the people who insist on being stupid and for begging for their own extermination, they cannot have the majority voice. Those of you who know that Obama is a killer who must be removed, that we cannot allow our nation to go into November with this guy in the White House to stand up and fight. Call your congressman. Get this man out of office. The Democratic Party needs another nominee, and we cannot afford that the patriots of this country sit on the sidelines.